In this video, I am going to discuss timers and counters, specifically on the Atmega 328P. And first of all, I would just like to give credit this to the authors of this book. And they also generated the, these PDF slides. So, Ms. Uh, authors Madzi and Nahimi and Nahimi, before I carry on. Now, in this specific case, we're going to start off talking about a counter. And a counter will definitely have a counting register in it. And this is the register that contains the count value. And it is also possible. Let's first of all just quickly talk about this side here. You can up count a counter. Or you, get, you basically, if you apply a pulse on this upside, your counter will increment by one. Uh, so this counter can start at zero, like in a normal counter. And you can also, if you want to, load this from a specific point. So you can either start at zero or you can load a predetermined value in a specific counter. Now in a simple design, this slide, what this thing is showing is, let's say I've got a, a preloaded value here of four. And your counter register can also be, it will also count. In other words, let's assume uh, that I get some pulses on the sensor here. At some point, if, if, there's an inc if there's a pulse on the sensor here, it will happen that this counter register will increment by one. And this has been preloaded already with four um, at another position, another register. We'll talk about that register at some point. And as soon as this counter register gets to four, and this comparator is a fixed value of four, there will be an output saying that they are equal at this stage. So this counter register in this specific instance will start at zero, counting upwards. Now a counter timer combination has basically got a few functions. As you can see here, it could be to generate a delay, to do some counting, to do waveform generation or capturing. In our course, we are basically going to focus only on the top two and not the, the waveform generation or capturing. So if I, let's start off with the second one here, which is counting. If I want to start counting events, that will normally, not normally, it will always come from an external source. So on this Atmega at 328P, there will be an external pin which will be pulsed and that pulse will then be counted and it will be registered in this specific register, the counter register. So generally, if you count external pulses, you will start at zero here and it will then count up. So as you can see here, there will also be a register, which I will discuss very soon, which will basically tell your device to become a counter or a timer just as you have with other microcontrollers like the 8051. Um, and this is the basics of uh, a counter type of device. So it will be an external source, it will be a counter, and it will count from zero upwards. Then if we talk about delays that you generate, previously uh, we have worked with an 8051, and that 8051 you had a delay function, and we would normally start in that specific case, we could have started at uh, any point, but normally somewhere in in between zero and the maximum count. And then as soon as it rolls over, there was a flag that indicated that this thing rolled over. So when we start talking about delay, delays, then basically you must have uh, the input from your existing oscillator which is also driving your whole microcontroller. So those pulses will then come from the specific uh, crystal oscillator connected to your device. And then you must also tell this device to become a timer. And we will talk about that, but it is possible to start at zero uh, and then count up to a specific point. And then it's also possible, like we know we've done this before, you start somewhere in your counter register between zero and the maximum value. And as soon as it rolls over uh, from the maximum value to zeros, there will be a flag that will indicate that status. So 
they are the two ways which we uh, we will discuss in more detail so yeah basically we've got the counting function and we've got a delay generation function yeah, depending on the AVR you are using it's got actually up to six timers depending on which one you use so it could be one to six but specifically the 328p has got three timers a timer zero timer one and a timer two and uh, these timers depending on which timer it is it could be an 8-bit timer or a 16-bit timer um, if you specifically look at the 8-bit timers in this AVR the at mega 328 timer 0 and timer 2 will be your 8-bit timers and timer 1 is the 16-bit timer in this specific device Let's conclude this first video by looking at some registers associate, associated with the timer in the AVR. We've already seen a picture before where there's a flag. If there's a rollover, there is somewhere you have to set this counter timer. Uh, and also there should be a counter register. But let's look at the different registers associated with this. So the very first register is this TCN TCNT and that N would be definitely for a 0, 1 or 2 depending on the register but this is your timer counter register so this is the register if I can compare it again with the 8051 in the 8051 you had timer high 0 and timer low 0 uh, that would be the registers that, that basically uh, takes the count so it will be if it's up counting it will count in that registers in this case also if it's up counting the, well it is always up counting but depending if it's counting from zero it, this is where you will find the count uh, if you start at some point this is also what we, the register that you will load with that value so this is where the count will occur doesn't matter if it's a timer or a counter uh, if I can just quickly go back to TCNT, so this is basically the counter register. That's the one that that I refer to. Um, this TOV is a timer overflow flag, uh, and as I've said before, if your counter register rolls over, if this this is an let's say it's an 8-bit register and it rolls over from 255 to zero, there's a flag that will be set, and this is the flag. This flag sits in uh, well it's the TOV flag and this sits in a register called TIFR it could be 0, 1 or 2 but the TIFR stands for timer counter interrupt flag register so that is where you will find this specific uh, flag and that's for rollovers if I look at the, the next register this TCR, TCCR it's called a timer counter control register control register it could again be that we will find here a 0 1 or 2 but there's also they don't indicate it here but there's a 0 a and a 0 b and so forth so there's an a and a b so those two registers actually work together as the control register again this specific register the purpose of this register is to tell your device if it should become a counter, if it be, should become a timer, etc., whatever it should be. And then when we get into more detail, you will see that this register is also where you do your prescaling uh, in your timer device. Then also, uh, which is something new, if we compare this with the 8051, in the 8051, you did not have a compare uh, option in this specific instance. As I've said right in the beginning, it is possible to start this counter at zero. And uh, then you can also load this OCR, which is an output compare match, sorry, output compare register, OCR. You could load that with a certain value. Let's say you've got an 8-bit register and you load it with 200. Then, and you count this, this counter of yours or your timer starts at zero. Then at the moment that it reaches 200, it will basically set a flag and this is this flag this OCF flag it's an output compare match flag will basically uh, go high as soon as your counter or your timer which is the specific register here equals this OCR 
uh, output compare register value, the one that you've placed in there. So it's a little bit different. You've got the option. If it rolls over, there's a TOV flag. If you if you look at this counter value of yours and you put in a value to compare it with, as soon as they reach the same values, there's an OCF output compare match flag, which will go high, indicating that we basically reach the same value. So these are the registers that you associate or get with your, within your timer or counter. And we'll discuss some of this in the next video. Thank you.